right, a part of this is preparation, and I'm wearing the Olivar Brown pretty much head to toe. I've got the rasher on right now, and I've got the swim shorts, but we're gonna take this, I was gonna say on the road, we're gonna actually take this out into the Caribbean. Let's head there. So, Anna, you may have won the day. Is this obviously inspired by Ursula Andres? Just a little bit. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's gonna do any I'm better. Be out of the water. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll recreate it. Jay, your, your wife was all in. She's all a very in. Good sport. Oh my gosh. Everybody's having fun. All right, everybody is preparing for the first round of kayaking here. We've got some uh, people floundering about. We don't wanna say that they're floundering, but they are floundering. We'll see you out on the road. All right. So we've got right now Bond's retirement boat first. Jay and Anna, what do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to retire on that right now. Yeah. I would like to retire on that. So this is not always in the bay. This is something kind of special right now. One of the co-owners. And that is their boat. And Fiona just told me that that was the boat. They had to kind of approve it to go out but it was taken to different areas in the cuba scene they took it to port antonio which is very cool right and we've got a host of people all experiencing this and a couple of laggers mike's a sailor he's fine Set, 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 That's Bill. Bill's lost to the winds. Uh, we're on the A roll, please. <laughs> Pardon? So, a couple of things real quick. This boat right here looked like the one in the film, which was kind of rusty and used. The deal with the captain was they'll use it as a fishing troll but they have to repaint it, make it look beautiful. So it did not look like this in the movie. They actually took it all the way down to Port Antonio, where they had all the scenes where Bond's uh, houses and things like that. That's also where Bond's retirement boat came from. But they took it down there and they used pyrotechnics. In the end of the movie, they wound up sieging a lot of it. But you still see this boat being utilized. The little uh, nugget that Golden Eyes told me is the actual captain of this boat. It's still an active boat, as you can tell. Um, it's actually in the film. He was the captain of the boat in the film itself. So a little FYI. But now you're looking at two go tongue and eye props. Hello, Bill. <laughs> you look so lean. Look at that. You look like, like an easy chair. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, this is like, this is like,
<laughs> See? Told you, what? Straight in. Now let's watch two people unelegantly get out of a kayak. Oh, actually, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, Alright, that was way more fun than it should have been. Oh, no, thank you. So make sure your kayaks are pulled up pretty far because they will catch a current and you won't have a kayak. And you won't have a way back, right? No, but we'll laugh. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we'll wait till everybody's here. It's my kid. You're bringing up the rear. Is that Mike Popofsky? Yeah. Oh, he's, no, he'll be dead before the day's in. <laughs> Yeah, he's not gonna make it. Promise no. I mean, we all got a head start on Bill, but Bill was like here, like that, in a flash. Wow. Want to fight back with Bill? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but pull up your kayak, though. All right, we are now at Button Beach. Most of us are at Button Beach. We have two stragglers who we already felt we would lose 20% of the group to uh, either cold or exposure or sharks. These are the two. Who we've got out there, Mike, and who else? Connor? Connor. Oh, no, no, those guys are dead. <laughs> yeah. But Kyle, you weren't that close with Connor, right? Yeah, no, let him go. Persuaders can be one person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, the group yeah. chat's going to be All right, so here we are, and um, the gang is all here. We are here at Bond Beach. Let me explain what this is. This was not a purchase that Fleming originally made. This is a beach that they used to have hog races or pig races before Fleming found this place. His best friend, Ivor Bryce, found the home that you're going to see on Monday, the land itself was 2,000 pounds at the time. It cost 2,000 pounds to purchase and build GoldenEye itself. So for 4,000 pounds, which is a third of the price to stay one night at GoldenEye right now, <laughs> for those of you doing the math at home. And that's fine. So we're here to enjoy Bond Beach. Um, let me tell you what it was and what it is now. It is a slightly abandoned, although I think people sneak over, um, beach that used to be a wonderful park. There is glass. You have to watch your step. There are plastic bottles. It's been in better shape. At the time though, Fleming wound up using this even before he purchased this land, which eventually he did, as a little playboy playground. So this is where they would have like outdoor parties away from his home. And you're going to see some actual artifacts on here that still exist even to this day that we can get some pictures of. So I bought a little bit of time as our, uh, the herd. There's always the weak and the old in the herd. You're, you're, you're looking at them. Don't worry, the sharks will get them. We don't pull punches. This is the bond thing. Come on up. The water's right. fine. Texas. Oh, mango tree. Oh, don't, don't open it, Kyle. He's No, no. Come on in. This is perfect. So this is actually one of the most... I almost want to take a picture of the little shack there. Every, come on out. Come on out back here. Keep it coming. Can't let anybody. We'll, we'll let you back in. Don't worry. All right. So, is Colin? Yep, he's coming. He's doing it. He's taking, he's taking, he left taking in the rum one bottle. photograph. Yeah, Kyle, sure the rum bottle is empty. Just leave it. <laughs> it's, it's a cultural artifact. He's yeah, taking a photo of it for security. Uh, All right. Quell's been here. Right? All right. So, real quick, this is actually one of the most famous spots on James Bond Beach because it's one of the few that they didn't stop. They had a personal guard tower for Fleming and Goldeneye that was over here. Clearly, when you look at the booth, it's no more. You've got changing tables and you actually have the area where the pig races were, which you can still see the track where they were on if you want to venture over there. But this sign is the one that you see with Ian Fleming, Noel Coward, whenever they come over to do their parties, if they're not actually going to Goldeneye. And the sign, they haven't repainted it, they haven't changed it, and it's still got the same value on it. 
So, strange artifact to show you, but you'll recognize it in the pictures. Can you get a picture in there? Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is, this is a little bit of a tiny workout, so let's take our time. There is no rush, we have all the time Oh, I didn't see you coming with that, Jack. Where have I heard that before? Can I write I that know. down? <laughs> Alright, so here's where we're going to go. We are going to now follow me past the boats again into the Golden Eye Lagoon. We're going to say bye to Bill because he's got a spot dream. Bye, Bill. Bye, bye. bye Bill. He won't make it back. Um, and then we're going to go through the lagoon so you get to see the lagoon. You can wave to all the villas. And then we're going to go around Shame Lady, Shatterhand, which I'll explain what those are. We're going to go under the bridge and then we're going to go to Fleming Beach now, where the rock is. Will we see a Pancho Villa? I need him to fall back like he did before, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> because just like Xanax, you can only take small doses of Mike Poplowski. Small, <laughs> small doses. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get the, you don't have to link through this, do you? No. Mm, You can see the surf. Yeah, isn't that great? Oh, yeah. So this is where people usually, when we cross onto the bridge, this is where people start to get nervous. Because you see yeah, the because, surf and you're yeah. like, I'm going to be capsized, but you won't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's cool. But you got to kind of move as one. Yeah, you have what? Days for the vodka and like four gummy bears. <laughs> 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 if you got a party, you're hoping to study the boat. You're not parking. Have you beaten it? Trying to do our part. Everybody stay away from the rock, get to the left of the rock and just shoot out and up. If you guys want me to hold the boat so you guys can do it, I'm happy to do this. I got my shots a moment ago. 
So I would put your oars like that. Okay, so we are here at uh, Fleming Beach in the famous Fleming Rock. We're being very respectful. They're very good about just kind of using the ocean, which is public space, the beach, not so much. Cameras everywhere. Um, but this is an iconic shot. You can tell that we are in the higher tide right now. If it was low tide, you'd be able to stand probably about 10 feet away from the rock. But this is it. I mean, this is the rock really hasn't changed that much. If you look at pictures from the 50s, when he came here in the 1950s, late 40s, it doesn't look any different. The beach does. So the beach has been radically changed somewhat to make it a little bit more friendly. Enjoy. Hey, smile guys. Are you guys going out in the catamaran? What, what the? I love this towel. <laughs> the this towel my does favorite exist. Favorite things on the 007 store. We were just, I can't remember what it was, it was like $40, $50. But I love it. I love that. Chris, you're the sailor for today? Hi, yes. You're going to be taking people out I looking, absolutely looking for conch shells? No, we're going to find more conch. Yeah. We're going to do some swimming out to the spirit boat. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go out there and dive down and find more conch, which is where we got our dinner last night. And a couple gin and tonics. Oh, With we got a diver. <laughs> diver, diver, diver straws. We got frogmen. Frogman Dave. Well done. And they're going to be going out in this catamaran. We're going to check it out. Yes, the adventure continues here at GoldenEye. Everybody wave. Okay, we are on the catamaran. We've got Captain Chris. Woo! Captain Ross. Captain Ron. Captain Ron. Captain Ron. Better, better than Captain Ron, yeah. <laughs> we got Josh, we've got Sherry, we've got Phil, we've got Alex, and we're all going out. Who's going hunting for conch sales? That's me. Are you looking? Phil. Why not? Oh, we're gonna find dinner. Don't I'm worry. just looking. <laughs> we will find dinner again. Alright. We got the wind. The wind is working well, right? Great. We love it. Absolutely beautiful. This feels so nice on my butt. You like it? That's yeah. honest. She yeah. literally oh, said that. She's so glad I got that. I was like, damn. Are 
you guys going conch shell oh, hunting? Yeah. Against our old adversaries, the Americans. Yeah, this is where we lose people to the uh, to the ocean. Better get a good one or don't come back. That's Thank what we're you. saying. I mean, come back. Uh -huh. My son, uh, my little son. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.